In this video, we'll see how to compare two projects uh, that have a different time period for cash flows, a different lifespan, if you will. So you have project A that begins in year zero and ends in year six, and project B begins in year zero and ends in year three, and they have different cash flows. So how do you evaluate which one is a better project? Now, you could do the traditional NPV method. You could basically compute the NPV for both these cash flows. Um, NPV of uh, at a 10% interest rate of all these values. And uh, so 1,106. And here you have uh, another NPV of these cash flows here at the same discount rate. And you have three years of cash flows. Now, if you look at this, it appears that project A is more attractive, but that is not the case. And the reason for that is because project A goes all the way till year six, but project B only goes to year three. Supposing uh, what this is, is, is in, it involves purchasing some kind of a, you know production machinery for producing something. And here you're able to use it for six years, but here you're able to use uh, you know machine B only for three years. But at the end of the three years, you're still in business because that's what you've assumed here. So you need to actually compute these cash flows as well because you will be using some machine in the next three years. And you could, you know, you could think of what the cash flows will be if you were to use project B for the next three years. So uh, we'll, we'll try to do that. And uh, let me just copy paste this here. And uh, uh, now if you look at the NPV, what we need to do here is uh, we need to say equal 600 uh, minus 500 because at the end of uh, the third year we are going to be getting the cash flow of $600 from machine B but we'll also be spending another $500 just like we did here to purchase a new um, uh, you know machine B or project B and again you get $600 uh, over the next three years. So this is what your cash flows will look like. So what you're doing is you're investing 500 and you're earning 600, 600, 600, but out of the 600, you're spending 500 to buy another uh, you know, machine B and then you're earning $600 again for the next three years. So if you look at the NPV for this, plus NPV of interest rate, and all these values and actually I just want to paste this particular format here and equals this plus NPV of this interest rate and all these values here and again somehow it has a percentage format I'm just going to copy this dollar format and paste that here and now if you see you see that the net present value of project B is actually higher and that seems to be the more uh, attractive project. So another way to compute this sort of uh, situation, uh, you know, uh, compare these sorts of projects that each have a different lifespan would be to compute what is known as a equivalent annuity cash flow, EAC or equivalent annuity cash flow. So what we want to compute is what is the per year cash flow that is equivalent to this net present value. So I will use a, an Excel formula called PMT equals minus PMT. And I will explain, uh, you know, why I make each of these choices uh, in the next few minutes. The interest rate, I'm just going to use the same interest rate. The number of periods here is six periods because uh, this project lasts for six years and uh, the present value is this NPV here. And I don't need to fill out these other two columns. I just close this. And here I do a similar thing, equals minus PMT. The rate is 10%. The number of periods is three here. And the present value is 992. And now here, if you see the equivalent annuity cash flow is higher for project B than for project A. And that gives an appropriate uh, measure of the uh, you know, benefit from each project on an annual basis. So what is this equivalent annuity cash flow? If you had another set of cash flows that were equivalent to $254.08 for six years, 
that would be equivalent to the present value of that would be equivalent to this NPV here. Likewise, if you had a cash flow of $398.94 every year for three years, the present value of that would be equal to $992.11. And you can see that here. Okay, so I'm just going to put um, this figure here, EAC, and I'm just going to let this run for six years. And I'm going to put this figure here and let this run for three years. And oops. Let this run for three years. And now if you look at the first year's cash flow is obviously zero. And if you look at the NPV of each of these cash flows, I'm just going to compute it in exactly the same way as before. It is 1,106 and 58, which is exactly the same as this. And the NPV of this is $992.11, which is exactly the same as this. So the equivalent an annual cash flow is the per year cash flow in each project uh, lasting for the appropriate number of years, six in this case and three in this case, so that the net present value is equal to the net present value of the original project. Now, to see why the equivalent annual ca annuity cash flow is a good measure, I'm going to compute the EAC in this example, and you'll see it's exactly the same equals minus PMT of the interest rate, number of periods is six, and the present value is this, which is the same as this, and that's no surprise because these cash flows are identical to these cash flows, um, equals minus PMT of the rate, number of periods here is six again, and the present value is this. So. In this case, this is significant. Look at this and look at this. So here, if you look at it, um, the equivalent annual cash flow for project B is the same in both cases, even though here the project B is extended for six years and here project B is extended for only three years. So the point I'm trying to make is that the project B extended for three years here is equivalent to project B extended for six years here. And if you compute the equivalent annual cash flows annuity cash flows for both they are identical and if you compare the equivalent annuity cash flows for project a and project b it will become clear that project b is more attractive so those are the two ways in which you can resolve you know uh, evaluate and compare two different projects that may have uh, different timelines or lifespans associated with them thanks for watching and have a good day